Hey class, how's it going? Happy weekend. Um, so I wanted to do another example for you guys because I didn't get through many in class and so I figured let's give it a shot. Let's talk about a few more and also I want you to see that these are pretty tough for me too. Okay, there is no right way to do these. There is no list of steps you can follow. So I'm trying a problem right here, number 24 from your book, a problem that I have not done before. Okay, so I don't know what's going to work, what's not going to work, but I will walk through it and you can see my thought process. Okay, so I'm looking at this one right here. Um, not too much is jumping out at me. I don't see a Pythagorean identity. I don't see any opportunities for factoring. So I'm going to try something that I often try, which is writing things in terms of sine and cosine. Okay, so right here I'm seeing 1 over tangent beta. Now this is a beta. I'm probably going to call it B throughout the problem, but it's really beta. It's a Greek letter. Um, so this is really cotangent, right? 1 over tangent is cotangent. So I'm going to write this as cosine beta over sine beta. All right, tangent is going to be sine beta over cosine beta. Uh, secant is 1 over cosine. And cosecant is 1 over sine. All right. Um, still not a ton jumping out at me. So I'm seeing I'm adding two fractions. So I'm going to give them common denominators. So I'm going to multiply this one by cosine over cosine. And I'm going to multiply this one by sine over sine. That way the common denominator is cosine beta, sine beta. All right, so this first one's going to turn into cosine squared beta over cosine beta, sine beta. And the second one's going to turn into sine squared beta. Uh-oh, I'm getting excited about this possibility to use a Pythagorean identity here. Um, let me finish writing this out. All right, this one's going to turn out not to be so bad. When I add these, I keep the denominator. Cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. And then when I multiply this, we get the same thing on the left side as we do on the right side. OK, so that one actually turned out not to be so bad. Maybe I'll try another one. Um, but let me give you some tips on some of these problems. Um, things you might want to try. Factoring is a good idea. Um, I will make a list over here. Factoring, uh, writing things in terms of sine and cosine, looking for Pythagorean identities is a good idea. Um, in problems like number 25 and maybe even 40, um, 35 for sure, you might want to think about cross multiplying. Um, and I don't know. I guess that's it for now. Uh, maybe we'll get another example up here in a minute. But otherwise, um, remember, continue to struggle with these. Even if you don't get the right answer, you're not wasting your time. The only way to get better is to struggle with these. Okay? You'll run into dead ends sometimes. Just start over. So use pencil and grab a lot of paper. All right, guys. Have a good weekend.